So Roblox has released a pretty interesting tool called Avatar Lab Preview, which allows you to generate avatars from images with the use of AI. And I'm going to go over it in this video. But as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get to it. So there is this the forum post saying that generate avatars from images with avatar lab preview demo and it was released on July 12th where they are releasing an experimental experience called avatar lab preview and if you go to this link it's going to take you to this page of this game that we are going to check out later but continuing they are saying that this is an early access demo of our inexperienced avatar generator technology aimed at testing our product's capabilities and they are looking to get their feedback before launching the avatar generation api and this avatar generation api is going to be i'm guessing a new tool that we are gonna get in the future and what this api is going to do is is going to generate a 2d preview image with a use of another image or a prompt and then it's going to take that to the image and then just generate a 3d model of a roblox avatar and then later on you are going to be able to publish the personal copy of the avatar to be used across the platform. And of course it needs to comply with the terms of service. And here is a pretty interesting paragraph saying that this API will be able to use editable mesh and editable image on the avatar itself. So users can potentially paint, form and even sculpt a completely custom avatar. And this paragraph just says that the avatars are going to be ranging from the humanoids to fantasy creatures. And then here is the how to provide us feedback and this just tells you how to use the tool saying that this experience allows you to generate an avatar by selecting one of the presets and then generate a custom avatar with text prompts so basically everything that you see in this image right here and these are all of the presets that you are going to be able to select and then you give the additional details to influence those features from the stylization to hair eyes and then additional notes and then you also have an option to report the generated thumbnails just in case something is broken or doesn't comply with the terms of service. And then you also have a time limitation as well as the number of the generations themselves. Then on the paragraph of our vision for custom avatars, they are saying that in the future they envision that these avatars will be made available for purchase. And right off the bat I'm going to say that this in my opinion is a really bad move because personally I'm not going to buy a custom avatar 3D model that was generated by an AI. And especially if Roblox wants to make these avatars be published onto the marketplace for actual real money. But anyways, they also want to make them published to your user's profile and taken across Roblox. And these custom avatars would also drive the discoverability of your experience. They carry an attribution link back to the experience, allowing anyone on the platform to view and access your experience from a friend's avatar, which I don't personally see working too well either. And here they're just saying that with this technology, we are moving towards a future where you can build avatars creations into your experiences, ultimately allowing anyone to create an avatar in an experience that can be used across Roblox. And in my opinion, I would also prefer this bit if this wasn't actually AI generated. Like having a custom avatar that you actually made, like the whole 3D model, the whole rig with animations, and then it being sold on the experience, and that model being displayed on your profile and also give a link to the experience itself, would be a way better way than actually using AI. And lastly, they're addressing the bias in AI. And all of this is basically just a formal take from Roblox about the AI learning sources and so on, where they also check for the violative content. And basically just in case they are setting this place to be only for users 13 and plus. And then they basically just tell you that if you run into any problems with generation, you can basically just provide feedback from that will pop up after a generation. And they of course aim to address any issues and they also say that your input matters. Then how they train the data model for this experience, which you can well pause the video if you want. And then the future of AI powered avatars creation technology, where they are saying that they want to enable creations for all creators and they use these AI tools as a way to augment everyone's well creativity. And to just give a comment on this, you shouldn't rely on AI to be a creative person. But continuing, they believe a platform where everyone can express themselves more fully makes for richer, more immersive experiences for everyone. And that take is actually true, but if you just put AI into this, it may actually not go into a better direction. Or maybe I'm just wrong and in 10 years we are going to have AI generated games that are actually going to be good. And while they release this API in the future, they're also making creations easier at every level through AI. And most recently they've launched the avatar auto setup which I also need to make a video on, which automatically rigs, cages, segments and skins your 3D model with a single click of a button, eliminating hours of manual work. 
And now this in my opinion is a way better use of artificial intelligence. But anyways, that's basically everything for the dev forum post, except also the different experience that people have been having with this update. But yeah, right now I'm actually just going to use this tool and to show you how you can use the avatar lab preview demo. But before I do that, I'm quickly just going to advertise my Patreon, where just for $5, you are going to get access from exclusive content from my videos, like for example places from my tutorials. But anyways, back to the video. So again, this is the Avatar Lab Preview demo place, and let's actually play it and see how it works. And I just got a notification about the Z Photo 2 Avatar channel, but I'm not exactly sure what it's about. But basically, let's see what we have right here. So this is the Welcome to Avatar Lab, which says how you can create a custom avatar head, where you have the chosen thumbnail, and then you have a text to influence, and then it generates the avatar's head right here. And then here is the Getting Started where you need to press on the click to begin and then you can press the button to create the avatar and then try it out as an animated head and also something that I didn't mention previously is that anything you create in this experience you are going to be the only person that can see this but let's actually press on the click to begin and then we have the wait time after which we can enter the creator and then we have some of the presets that are taking a second to load and I can already see that even these presets also seem to be AI generated themselves. But let's just actually press on one of the heads and then we can add the details to influence those features. Where the stylization can be for example something like fish. And then leave the hair as bold and eyes as yellow and then we have the additional notes that we can maybe give it a salmon. And now we can just press on the create new preview button. And then it's creating our preview right here, which can take up to one minute. And then I think we should maybe give it a different prompt. Maybe let's just pick this preset and just remove some of the stylization. And let's give it maybe like a long lower fangs. And then it actually drew a shot of my avatar creator. So maybe give it like lower fangs and maybe just like an angry face. With a dark green hair color. And then the additional can be like dark line marks. And I just generate a preview again. And it didn't actually create the lower fangs, but we just have a set of teeth. But well, let's just see what happens if we create the avatar. And it says that the 3D model will be generated. This may take several minutes and the progress will be displayed in the top right corner. And once the model is generated, you will be able to view it and equip it in this experience. So let's just wait for it to create a 3D head avatar. Okay, so after waiting a few minutes, we have the prompt saying your avatar head is ready. So let's actually just view it. And here is the head. And then we can also change some few different things, like the bodies and accessories. And I don't think I should be giving my avatar a wig, but it's nice seeing how the hair basically just fits the shape of the head. And let's actually press on close. So well, this is my new animated head, and it actually did a pretty good job, since this seems to be generated like an actual 3D head model, and I'm not really seeing too many artifacts, except maybe like this line on the top right here, but it even got some of the details that you can see around the face. But yeah, I'm actually just going to reset my avatar, and I can't even do that, so anyways, that's basically going to be everything for how to use the avatar lab, and how Roblox wants to improve the generation of AI avatars. But yeah, that's basically going to be everything for today, so again, go check out my Patreon page, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and hope everyone had a nice day, and see you guys.